Hello and welcome to the Gorilla Craft Studio. Today I'm going to walk you step by step through the use of Gorilla Super Glue and provide some quick tips for when you're working with the product. Gorilla Super Glue is an instant glue and great for bonding most anything quickly. When working with Gorilla Super Glue, you'll first want to prepare your surface by removing any oil, grease, dirt, or old paint. This can be done using an acetone or a rubbing alcohol. Now, if you're working with a non-porous or a slick surface, you'll first want to sand that surface with a fine grit sandpaper. This will help increase the bond strength. However, today I'm gonna to be gluing paper, so this does not apply. Next, after you've prepared your surface, you're gonna take one surface and apply a very small drop of glue. A good rule of thumb is to use one drop per square inch. If you use too much glue, this can weaken the bond and it'll take longer to cure. Next, you'll wanna hold your project for 30 to 60 seconds. It's best to hold for this amount of time and not check before then, as this can weaken the bond strength. Handling time is generally 30 to 90 seconds for your project. However, if your project isn't tight fitting and there's a gap, even a small one, the cure time will take longer. This is also true for non-porous surfaces. Full cure will be reached in about 24 hours. Gorilla Super Glue is so easy to work with, and I've learned a few tricks over the years that I'd like to share with you. Gorilla Super Glue should be applied at room temperature. Once cured, the product can typically withstand temperatures from negative 65 degrees Fahrenheit to 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Although Gorilla Super Glue is water resistant, it's not waterproof. If your project is going to be exposed to a lot of water, opt for a waterproof adhesive like Gorilla Glue. It's always a good idea to store your Gorilla Super Glue in a cool, dry place away from sunlight. I store mine right here in my craft studio. As a reminder, don't store Gorilla Super Glue in your refrigerator. If the product is stored properly, it can last a minimum of one year. Gorilla Super Glue's bottle is great for storage in that it has a metal pin in the cap, which reduces clogging and keeps the product fresh. Gorilla Super Glue works on most surfaces. However, it is best not to use it when gluing high oil-based plastics, silicone, Teflon, glass, or foam. Although the product can be used on mug handles and other surfaces, it's best not to use the product on any objects that will come in direct contact with food. Gorilla Super Glue is really easy to work with, and it is sandable. However, if you are painting or staining your project, Know that Gorilla Super Glue will not accept paint or stain, so be sure to apply the glue within the joint. If you need to remove Gorilla Super Glue from your project, you'll want to use an acetone soaked cloth. Taking the acetone soaked cloth, you will swipe the area. After several applications, the super glue should be removed. However, it's always best to test the acetone on one small spot of your surface to make sure it doesn't ruin it. If you need to remove Gorilla Super Glue from your skin, simply soak in warm, soapy water. Do not attempt to pry your fingers apart. Simply take a pencil or a pen and roll it through your fingers to unstick. By following these tips and directions, you should have a great Gorilla Super Glue experience every time. 